Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to start talking about affiliate marketing and I'm going to go soup to nuts. So I'm going to start with really basic how we, um, what it is, how we get links, all those things. Then I'm going to go through a bunch of the different sites. I'm also going to talk about how to pick products to be an affiliate for. I'm going to show you how you can do affiliate marketing with just an email list, how to do affiliate marketing with just social media, how to do affiliate marketing if you're a blogger. We're also going to talk about how you can get special terms with as being an affiliate marketer. But today, I want to start with just the basics about what it is because it, you know, I really think that some people have an impression in their mind of what affiliate marketing is that maybe they got years ago or that maybe they tried it, but it didn't work. Amen, sister. That was me. Um, that it's scammy, that it's gross, that you don't want to do it because only creeps do it. But I'm here to tell you, I love doing affiliate marketing for a number of different reasons. First off, for me as a content creator, I do blogging, I make videos, I make Pinterest pins, things like that. I would not necessarily be spending the time. Let me give you an example. I love this one site called Joggles, right? The lady there is amazing. She's super sweet. It's a small site. You know, she's not um, scrapbook.com or something like that. She just has a small store. Now, if she was not paying an affiliate commission, I would probably refer people to Amazon, right? Because it's much easier to do that. But this way, I can support a small business owner as well as being able to make some money. And because I'm doing the content, I'm making more money for me. I'm making more money for her. And I'm recommending products that I truly believe in, right? I just absolutely refuse to recommend anything that I don't believe in. We're probably going to talk about that tomorrow more when we talk about how to figure out what products to be an affiliate for. But for today, just know that those are the three tenants that I do. I pick companies and products that I respect. I pick companies and products that I use. And then I recommend them to my people as if I was recommending them to my best friends or family members. I wouldn't recommend something to my friends or family that that I thought was yucky, of course. Okay, so this is going to be half to show you how affiliate marketing works and have to give you a realistic idea of how much money you can make doing affiliate marketing. So for me... Affiliate marketing is one of my streams of income. I went through with my bestie the other day and I'm and I'm definitely past a thousand dollars a month, but this is not a a series or a course on how to make seven figures with affiliate marketing. This is a way for people who already have a business to add another stream of income to their um to their business. So I want to show you. So ConvertKit is the email newsletter system I use. It's very affordable. It's easy to use and I recommend it to everybody. So in January, I had one person sign up and I got $8.70 from them. And in February, they had a renewal. So there's um, two different kinds of affiliate payments. Some you get paid. Well, there's more than that. There's three or four, but this is a recurring affiliate payment. So every month that this person paid their bill, I got paid. So you're thinking, oh, 10 bucks a month isn't going to do anything. Well, the next month I signed up in June, I signed up somebody else. Well, now that's starting to look a little nice because that's a recurring payment. That's not a one-time payment. And then in July, I did a little series about email marketing and I got four or five more people to sign up. Now, one of them left, which is fine. You'll see that come and go. But what's going to happen is you're going to see that that it's cumulative, right? That your 
affiliate marketing results are going to be cumulative. So if I just got upset when I was only making 870 and I didn't do more things to try to get more people signed up, I would have given up. One of the biggest affiliate places is Amazon. The reason being, and this is probably where you should start. They don't have an affiliate program, so I won't be sending you an affiliate link for this, although I will put the um, link to sign up below in the description. Um, the reason why you want to start with Amazon is it's easy. Everybody gets approved. You just have to sell a certain amount by the end of, I believe it's three months, um, to maintain your account. And it's really easy to get links. And of course, everything in the world is available on Amazon. And I wanted to show you real quick how much I make on Amazon. It's not my primary one by any stretch of the imagination. But on these two days, I made $30, $28.74. Isn't that funny? $28.92. I was going to say, if I made the exact same amount, I want to know why. But I went and checked, and this day, somebody had bought a camera, a digital camera. And on this day, um, so I think somebody had bought a cleaning machine, like a vacuum machine. But so over the last 30 days, I've made $207 on Amazon. Now, is that enough to live off of? No, but that is a very nice little bit of money to have, right? So you can also do affiliate marketing with other companies. So like I was telling you, there's this cute little site called Joggle, super sweet lady. Um, one of my bottles opened up in, I buy from her. One of my little bottles opened up in transit and spilled out a teeny bit. And she was so cute. She was like, do you want me to give you a store credit? And I was like, this is good customer service. So I feel really good about referring her to my people. I have a little shopping cart order sitting there ready, right? Okay, so the way that I get to Joggles is Share a Sale. Now, Share a Sale is my absolute favorite ad network. The reason being is that you can, let's see, merchant status. I'm wondering if I can see them all there. Um, yeah, so here's all my merchants. So Joggles Tailwind. Tailwind is a Pinterest service that I do. Erin Condren, which is, I love them because they um, have planners. Rocky Mountain Oils, I love them because they have oils. That works out great for me. Um, this one closed, and I'm not doing much with those other ones. But what happens is you can do a whole bunch of different things. You can get access to a whole bunch of different companies in one place. So say we were going to be selling um, or recommending uh, floor cleaner. So we would do floor. And we're going to look at this. And they're going to pull up any of the companies that are floor people. So there we go. Rubber flooring, cleaning products, Shiner's cleaning products, garage, tell them that. So you have all that. Say you wanted to sell luggage, right? That you're, you're going to like do travel stuff for when it starts up again. You could find all these places that sp sell luggage, okay? Um, say you want to do sports and you want to do basketball stuff, right? Basketball. Okay. You can do searches. And all these companies are in one place. So it makes it super easy for you. I don't feel like that's basketball. Um, it, I might, it might be because I'm running my recording program too. It makes it super easy for you to find things to do. Now I want to show you my, um, what I've made. So I'm going to go here. So this month I made 199. So that's another $200. Um, I have, I'm getting paid 182 on 820. Um, and here are recent things that people have bought. So you, from my referral link, so creative live pays nothing for a sale. And you might think, why would I 
recommend something with nothing. Well, later on, what happens with affiliate marketing is say I refer them to that free class and I get paid nothing. What happens is they get a cookie set on their browser. So, so you know, Creative Live knows who you are. That's how they can follow you around the internet and, ex and you know, I, it's so funny, I was looking for um, bicycle shorts the other day. I went to Amazon to look for bicycle shorts and then they showed up on Facebook and then they, right? So that's how those things happen, is a cookie. So what happens is I recommended somebody to there and then they had a cookie and so then I made $5.70. This is for Rocky Mountain Oils, another small company that I believe in. They have really, really great um, service. Tailwind is that Pinterest one, so I gave them a lead. Joggles, that's my friend at Joggles, right? Somebody ordered $22.85. Tailwind, Tailwind, zero, like, no, just a lead. Creative Live, there I sold another Creative Live, so there's a zero, right? Um, so that's how you're going to start to make money. There's another Joggles. Oh, those craft girls order some stuff, right? Okay, so that's what that is. And the very last kind that we're going to talk about today is when you have uh, like a individual person. So this lady's name is Carly and I love her. And she has her own little, um, her own little re affiliate referral program for her product. And I love her pins. I use them all the time. And so what I want you to think about is all the services you use and how many of them might be an affiliate. And we're gonna officially start in the next video and you're gonna be able to start to figure out how you can pick items to be an affiliate for. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.